Classic Rock Mornings on Eagle 106.5. Christmas next week. Wow. Crazy. I know. Unbelievable. Yeah, a week I from am, today it'll be over. I <laughs> am going to be taking uh, some vacation. I yeah. know. I haven't had a vacation. I don't even know when the last time I had a vacation. Really? really? I don't think I've ever taken one here. Wow. Well, that's good to know. Huh. That you can leave this ship in the hands of... Uh, a drunken sailor. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, maybe I won't. <laughs> All I had to do was say that. And, right. And, right. Yeah. Just, uh, well, the two, two drunken two sailors. Two drunken <laughs> sailors. Well, I was trying to figure out how to, because you, you wouldn't be a sailor, would you? No, is that a, a wench. It, I guess that's what it is. <laughs> Am I a wench? Yeah, okay. Yeah. A I'll drunken sailor and a wench. <laughs> oh, you've never dressed up in a sailor costume. <laughs> yeah. No, I haven't. Really? But, no, for Halloween, I would I love that's to see be, you in a sailor I want to do that. That's weird, because I've dressed up in a wench costume. I know I believe that. Barmaid. Yeah. I can see that with a peg leg. That's right. <laughs> I know you you have, and it's called Friday Nights. <laughs> That's right. It's called Every Friday Night. Yep. Friday Night Twister. <laughs> By the way, it's uh, great to see your uh, lovely wife at the party last night. Yeah, yeah. Nice to she had her. a good time. Um, nice lady. She is like six foot two. Something She's like a that. Very yeah. tall lady. I was going to yeah. seven Isn't foot she? nine, but yeah. She is. A, she is. She's a very tall lady. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How tall is she? I have no idea. Really? I She's taller yeah. than you. Is she really? Yes. God. You are dwarfed by her. But did she have heels on? Or yeah, she, she had okay. heals on last night. She's probably about the same height then. She had three inches. It's not like uh, he's a pygmy. Yeah. And, yeah, so, exactly. and so do you. <laughs> wow. I know. Anyways. Hey, you <laughs> know Thank what? you for that. <laughs> wow. That is a compliment. Oh, that is, hey, that <laughs> is, I appreciate that. That is an upgrade. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Make sure you tell everybody I know. Classic Rock Mornings. Do you think these, these compliments, would you be... If somebody said to you, you're the best I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome. If it really? Was, it, yeah. Like, Thank so, you. <laughs> you're, so when you say, when somebody says that, if a woman says that to you, what, or a man. Yeah. <laughs> or a man. Uh, and then, yeah. No, it, it's, you're the best I've ever had. Don't you kind of think like, Really? How many have you had? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would feel bad for that person. <laughs> yeah. Really? I'm the best you've ever had? That's unfortunate. You have not had any good. What if, what if, what if somebody said to you, you like you did something for somebody, and they said, well, you know, hey, it's the thought that counts. Or, uh, you know, thanks for uh, trying. Yeah. See, I don't even, I don't like Instantly you know. Yeah. Nah, right. I screwed up on that one. Yeah, they weren't impressed. They, yeah. They like prefer buy, you hadn't done it at all. Yeah. Like you buy a gift for somebody, and they're like, <laughs> hey, you know. You know, I'll tell you, that's the, hey, thought, it's the that thought counts. that counts. Do you no, like no, it? No. Do you but like th- it? Hey, thanks for trying to really. It counts. It's not that bad. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I didn't think about it, so I apologize. <laughs> uh, you're amazing when you see, this is what I do like. If, <laughs> like, if you fix a leaky faucet or you kill a spider yeah. and uh, they say, you're amazing, I want, that's what I want. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I want that. Yeah, I like that. For any little thing I do, it, it could be just taking out the garbage, whatever it is. Man, you are amazing. Vacuuming. Yeah. <laughs> Folding clothes. Walking down the oh, hallway. Oh, that's so good. You are amazing. Yeah. You I did love so that. good turning that light switch that. off. Thank that's you awesome. for uh, for turning our mics on this morning. You're, You're amazing, amazing, Jackson. Yeah. Uh, when you get criticized and they say, oh, but I love you anyway. <laughs> oh, a little backhanded. Yeah. Uh, what about you're so cute? You think is that like? Yeah, um, uh, that's no, kind of see, a, yeah. That that takes you to friend zone, <laughs> especially if you're trying to get a little more than being friends with that person. Oh, you're so cute. You, you want to hear? Like, you want to hear like you? God, you're such a man. Yeah, you're I, so rugged. The way I, you turn I, those lights off. Yeah. The way you walk. I dig you. Yes. I've been told. <laughs> You know, you're so ugly, you're cute. <laughs> like Cabbage Patch Kids. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't know how to take that one. Golly, that's, yeah. yeah that's God, you're the famous. ugliest thing I've seen. You're so cute. <laughs> what? What does that huh? mean? I don't know what that means. Don't leave me. <laughs> Classic Rock Mornings. So would you rather be right or would you rather be happy? Well, being I think right I'd, makes me happy. Exactly. So, yep. Both. Being right gets you the other one. There you go. So you're in a relationship, whether it's your, you know, your significant other, your boss, whatever. Okay. And you get into some kind of a dispute, argument, whatever, over whatever topic. Okay. And you know you're right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so that uh, age-old question comes up: Would you rather be right or would you rather be happy? So they did it like a psychological study. It's out of New Zealand. Hmm. They found it, that it feels better. It feels better to be right than to be happy, which makes sense, right? Yeah. So you feel you ultimately feel better sticking to your guns in a fight yeah. than just giving in to their argument for peace. 
Yeah, but I, I truly right wonder. I well, I wonder people that do do that. You know, just forfeit, even if they're right. You know, and they just go, "Oh, I don't want to deal with this." But are they really happy? Here's the thing. Personally, this is me. Instantly, if I do that, if I say, "You know what? You're right." Instantly, for a minute or two, I'm a little bummed, mm-hmm. and then you forget but, about it. But then I forget. I one, I forget about it, or I get over it. And then I can instantly go back to being happy, which if I can be happier sooner right. than continuing this argument for five to 10 to 20 to three days, whatever it is, <laughs> I'd rather be happier huh. and I can get happier sooner by just giving letting it, it go. <laughs> by yeah. just letting go hey, look. and saying, you're right. <laughs> look, there goes your dignity. I yeah, know it's gone. I didn't realize I had it. Oh, wow. So check it out for the study. It's not exactly scientific. <laughs> they only tested one couple. Oh. Uh, for the study, they had... <laughs> what? What are you reading? What is hey, going on? The, this came from the Los and Angeles And they were Times. chimpanzees. It's the Los Angeles Times. And it was a gay couple. It were chimpanzees that were <laughs> exactly. gay. So we're not quite sure. But they were big fans of Duck Dynasty. <laughs> <laughs> Until yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for the study, they had a husband always agree with his wife. He would never argue, never question her, and never do anything but agree and smile. Oh, my. The wife didn't know about the study. Really? By the 12th day, (laughs) the guy had to stop. His wife had become so cocky (laughs) about always being right that Uh. she'd become way more critical of everything he did. I'm he wanted sure. the throat puncher. Right? He, he couldn't take it anymore. Oh. Who could? At the start of the experiment, the husband gave his quality of life a score of 7 out of 10. By day 12, he said it was down to a 3. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> now check this out. The wife started at 8 and was so self-contented, she, she wouldn't tell the researchers her score on day 12. It was like, if it's a 10 scale, yeah. it's probably a 50. <laughs> wow. Well, it's like Stepford wives, but Stepford husbands. I mean, that's yes. insane. Man. Right? Yeah, but, but those Stepford I, wives are kind of hot. Wow. Okay, we're done with the robot women. So <laughs> let's move on, Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> those Stepford wives are hot. <laughs> that's what you sound like. That's exactly <laughs> how I did it. That's right. <laughs> Classic Rock Mornings every weekday from 5.30 till 10 on Eagle 106.5.